we have already learned that to solve the nonlinear differential equations we have the first method which is known as the exact differential equation method now we will learn the second method uh, which is known as separable variables method so the name is very much representative of what it is it's about a situation where we have a function for example in a general form we have this function and uh, f is a function of y and t dy is there because it's a differential equation so we can see a differential in it and another function is being added that is g y and t again it's a function of uh, y and t and dt is the differential of the other variable that is t is there and it is equal to zero so if we have such an equation that the differentials of y and t are being multiplied with a function both in terms of y and t and a function both in terms of y and t which is g y t then it can be rewritten in a way it has a convenient property because it is possible to write it in a way that f will be in terms of y only and g will be in terms of t only so how actually it can happen it will turn into this that is f is only a function of y now and g is a function only of t so there is now some sort of synchronization that f is a, fun a function of y and then dy and uh, g is a function of t and only dt in that case if it is possible if we can rewrite in this form then we can say that variables y and t are said to be separable yes they have been separated from each other because initially they were uh, combined in one function and combined in the other function as well but now it is not so we have separated them and now they have been um, abridged to this form that is a form in which there is only one variable y and t respectively so this is something that we uh, can observe in this situation this consolidation has happened in the form of gt and fy as we have highlighted here now we can say that y is mathematically separated from t it's another way of expressing the thing now how we can solve it the good news is that it's very simple and easy because it's simply through integration we don't have to develop any lengthy procedure just like we did in exact differential equations we simply can do integration and we will be able to find out the answer so let's take the example from page number 492 of alpha c chiang and in that we are given a differential equation so this is a clearly a case of a nonlinear differential equation because the dependent variable is appearing in the form of a square so uh, specifically we are dealing with a nonlinear differential equation the thing that we need to do in this uh, method is simply to separate the two variables in this situation you can see the variables they were combined on the left hand side both of them were appearing on the left hand side whereas in this case you can see that one of the variables is uh, on the left hand side and the other variable is on right hand side so after this uh, we can simply take the integral uh, as only y variable is on the left hand side and only t variable is on right hand side they are integrated with respect to y and t respectively on left and right hand side now the integration process something you have been doing before which is very easy here we have done the integration and here again these underlines are showing that there are two constants of integration one produced by this function and the other produced by this t function so we combine them on the right hand side and we uh, keep the t term on the right hand side whereas y is left on the left, left hand side you know that usually we express the solution of our differential equation in this form this is why we are arranging them in this way 
so y cube is equal to this because c bar is showing the difference of the two constants which yet again will be an other constant when two constants are differenced so rearranging them and then uh, getting rid of this cube uh, we'll convert it into a cube root and this cube root is now uh, helping us to get the final form which is this so the time path will be this that is y in terms of t so we have solved the differential equation because you cannot see any derivative or any differential here so if they are dissolved it means that it is actually a solution or in other words it is the time path so this is a very simple method simply by using the integration we can do it now another thing is that we can do another example which uh, has slight intricate sort of uh, differential equation here you can see the terms are uh, written in such a way that they are not uh, readily separable because if I shift this term on the right hand side it becomes this and you can see that t is there with dy and y is there with dt so we have to do a little further rearrangement we can cross multiply and cross multiply will help us to keep the y terms on the left hand side and t terms on the right hand side and then uh, we have this separable uh, situation that we follow in this method so uh, the remaining procedure is very simple that you have seen in the last example that we integrate with respect to the relevant variables that is y and t and then the solution is there you can pause the video and you can do it yourself to become more expert in solving using this method so the only slight uh, difference here is that after the difference of these two constants of integration we have c bar and uh, when we take uh, when we try to get the value of y it is with log so to get rid of the natural log we take the exponent so exponent get r gets rid of natural log and we get y in the base and here when we take the exponent of a constant the answer will be another constant because you know it's not going to convert it into any variable this we say that is equal to c because c is a suitable notation for the final constant this is why we saved it and we used c bar before and now we are using c so this uh, t should be sh shifted to the right hand side reciprocalizing it and changing the sign of its power and then we can say that this is the time path or the solution because yet again we can see no derivative or no differential is there it is actually the solution of the differential equation that we started our work with so here we can say that the process of uh, separable equation method is executed by using two different equations thank you